And with, we're with uh, Mike Sienko uh, on the day before the uh, Bank of America Chicago Marathon. Uh, Mike, you know, just uh, catch us up briefly on uh, how uh, how your buildup has been going uh, in the weeks leading up to uh, tomorrow's race. Uh, pretty good. I've been in Eugene, Oregon for the last month and training with uh, my coach Brad Hudson. And, um, I've been doing the longer tempos out there, um, 15 or 20 milers, and uh -huh. uh, yeah, they've been going really well, uh, just marathon pace, and uh, really boosted my confidence of uh, what I can do out there on Sunday. Uh -huh. Now, I mean, uh, everybody knows that the uh, Chicago Marathon is probably one of the uh, uh, fastest courses, if not the fastest course in the world. Uh, Realistically, uh, is there? Do you have a time? You and uh, Brad have a, a time goal uh, going into this race, or what is uh, the plan? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we're considering you know the temperature and um, conditions out there. Um, looks like it'll be a little warm, but right. Um, s still plan on going um, same pace. I'm trying to run around 212, um, give or take. So. Um, yeah, just hoping for uh, good conditions out there and um, tuck in a good group and go with uh, with the flow. Yeah, uh, like uh, is there is there a certain you know certain group of uh, runners that uh, you're you're planning on keying off of uh, tomorrow or? Um, not really. Uh, uh -huh. just, you know, whoever I find in, in um, that range, I know some of the Hanson right. Brooks project guys are gonna run around that range so maybe we'll be able to work together uh -huh. uh, on that so yeah i guess uh, for uh, you know those those uh, who, you know who've been used to uh, seeing you uh, in your days uh, uh, as a husky uh, what what are the, some of the fundamental differences uh, between uh, uh, how you're training now and uh, how you were uh, training when you were at the uh, university of washington uh, I mean, the fundamental difference is just the everything is longer. Um, uh -huh. I'm running more volume in uh -huh. general. Um, my workouts are longer. Um, I'm doing a lot more threshold work and longer um, marathon-specific work, and a lot more on the roads versus uh -huh. doing, you know, cross country, running on grass and gravel. Uh, most of my stuff is on the roads now and in track. Uh -huh. And I don't really have a season. Um, well, I guess my season is fall is marathon and spring is track, but, you know, so this is kind of like my nationals, I would say. Right. Um, this would be like the... But, the, you know, another difference is when I'm fit, I go and race versus uh, college, it's you have a set schedule. Right. You know, professionally, you don't. Uh-huh. Now, uh, now you know, how, let's see, uh, how long have you uh, been with Brad? Uh, since January. Uh huh. Uh, any any uh, fundament, you know, other than the uh, the, um, the volume, um, it's still pretty much the uh, same philosophy as far as training goes. Uh, it, it's a little bit different. Um, uh -huh. we're, we're not so big on on weights, um, and we're more. We're more big on specific endurance um, and um, hill sprints. We're we're big on that as well. So incorporate some things I, you know, did and didn't do uh -huh. um, in college. Uh, but you know, the fundamental things are are there. You know, running volume. Um, the workouts are harder and longer, right. more intense, um, and uh, doing most of my training pretty much on my own. Uh huh. Uh, and hill sprints have probably been the biggest difference in, in uh, training with the longer thresholds. Right, right, right. Okay. Now, um, talk a, to me a little bit about uh, you know, the other couple weeks ago. Uh, you, you were uh, at the uh, U.S. at 20K. You get placed in the top 10. I, I mean, uh, did ha, talk to me about the a little bit about that race, and then also. Uh, how that race uh, went for you in terms of uh, your confidence going into uh, tomorrow's race? 
Uh, you know, I was uh, out in Mammoth Lakes, California, which is yeah. at altitude, 8,000 feet. I was training there for six weeks and uh, before the race. So I wasn't sure, like, what kind of shape I was in. I knew I was in good shape. Going to the race, I had no expectations but to go out with the very front pack and just last as long as I can. Uh, I was a little disappointed because I, I thought I was going to be in top three. Uh-huh. Um, but honestly, you know, we were training through it, and I ran uh, two hours and 40 minutes that Sunday before at 9,000 feet. Uh-huh. Um, so, you know, we were... We weren't tapering or anything. Uh, I was a little disappointed still. Uh, I was hoping to break 60 minutes. Uh, I ran like 60, 59, uh-huh. uh, which is okay. Um, and it was a good experience, but um, it, I don't think it was a good indicator of my fitness uh-huh. at that point. Okay. All right. Well, uh, Mike, uh, th- thanks a lot, and uh, good luck to you uh, tomorrow.